Hello everyone, my name is Clementine, welcome to Clementine Creative, I am back with another video. This week it's a more uh, sci-fi character, she has a big gun, she's got a sexy body, she's got big boobs. Uh, no reason for you not to watch this, unless you're uh, against all of those things, then you shouldn't probably not watch this video. Too bad, but you know, you're gonna miss nice uh, boobs. Anyway, you're seeing here... Uh, me doing a, um, a process that you did not see previous week, which is thumbnailing. Thumbnailing is very important because this is the stage where all the design is happening. So you know all the beautiful things that you saw previous week or you know all the pre beautiful things you see on the internet basically, all the nice drawings and paintings? That's actually uh, the easy thing. The hard thing is what I'm doing here is the scribbling really bad looking art style um, this here is actually designing, so this is what concept artists do, we don't really do illustrations like you saw me do previous week, which we do that, but this is our fundamental, this is what we fundamentally do, right, we design, so this is basically the, I guess it's a landing pad for everything that is to come, so this is the base, right, without this, you know, we have no purpose. Uh, if we cannot do this. Anyways, um, you're seeing me here design three different characters. I am spending about uh, 20 minutes on each, you know, just thinking out designs. Uh, and you can see there's a lot of mini art on the side of the characters. That's actually explanation art for me. Uh, I get to explain things, how things work. Uh, if, let's say, an art director came, um, said, you know, how does this work? Or anyone, really, for that matter, I can explain it. You know, she has this thing in the back, and no, 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 this is how it's tied on, right? So, this is all part of concepting. Um, the next thing you're gonna see is me taking all of these three and just collabing it into one character. Uh, the thing is, I liked all of these three, but to do all three of them would probably take me a couple of days to make, so... Because, you know, I'm still not as fast as uh, as maybe some of the other people that you see. Um, so I decided to collab, you know, make a, make a really sexy character out of all three of these, but maybe in the end, you see the last one and the first one were my favorite, and I decided to make a mash from these two, mishmash uh, from these two, and then later on maybe create a digital painting skin for her. Um, so this character's name is going to be Bullet for a very obvious reason, as you can see. Already in the thumbnail stage you can see why her name is going to be Bullet, but you're going to see the design is going to be quite different from the first one and from the third one. So we're going to mix all three of them, not just you know the first one and the third one, but all of them. So what you're seeing here is me just creating a pose, getting in all the proportions, everything has to be right. Now, here you really, really want to spend um, a considerable amount getting everything right, uh, because if you don't, it's going to look bad, you know. I don't think that, actually I know that if you have a really nice design, it'll be really crappy if, let's say, your one, let's say your head is too big, right, for the character, like your body is too small. Uh, it'll look really crap, believe me. Fundamentals are important for your designs to look good and just stand out, right? And just be able to hold and just look sexy as hell. Uh, so study your fundamentals, study the pose and whatnot. Uh, you know, copy the pose from the internet. It's not, you know, it's not wrong to copy a pose. Uh, you are here to do designing anyways. So you go, let's say, on a website like Pose Maniac. Um, you find a pose that you like and you copy it, you know, maybe, you know, change some things, but you copy the pose and you have just the pose, nothing else. Uh, it's not cheating, right? It's not cheating, it's just, that's how you do your thing, right? Obviously, uh, it's kind of cool if you know how to pose characters because you can kind of do your thing, but it's okay to copy things, you know, don't be afraid. Obviously, it's not okay to copy other characters' designs, or should I say other people's designs, right? Don't copy people's designs or people... You know, don't copy anything that's not your work, and I say work, uh, but you know, if you have a picture, and I say a picture, right, a real life picture of a, let's say a girl standing, let's say you have a girlfriend or your mom or your sister, and she's posing for your camera, and then you copy that pose, it's, it's completely fine, uh, don't worry about it, as long as you get the design, no one cares how you got to it, and as long as you're not copying someone else's work. 
So here you can see me uh, doing a clean version of the design and it kind of looks stiff, right? Compared to the one on the right. Uh, that's because I'm thinking out, you know, I'm thinking through this process, okay, what looks good, what does not, and what certain things look good. Uh, and so the pose is a lot stiffer because, you know, when I was doing the thumbnail stage, it was all about design. And there is a lot more life in that picture, but, um, you know, with time and with practice, you get to the point where even your actual concepts look very, you know, have a lot of energy in them. So normally in line art, anything that you draw is line art, right? No, no, no black fill-ins. But here I made quite a lot of black fill-ins. The reason why I did so much um, uh, in manga, this is actually called uh, beta, I think. And there's a lot of this here, you know, this just black blobs of color. Uh, because I think it looks kind of interesting. So I wanted something different in this design. And also balance out the white and the black. So it really looks kind of nice in the end, you'll see. Uh, I'm adding in the jacket from the second thumbnail. As you can see, all three of our, all three of the designs are going to be included. But here I'm just designing. Um, obviously, everything has basically been set here at this point. Um, you know, I've, I'm not designing anything new here because everything has been designed for me. I'm just, I'm just. I guess you could call this cleaning up. Uh, but really, it's not cleaning up. It's redrawing it, right? Uh, but everything you can see there, oh, it's already drawn. These pants, I'm not designing these pants, right? These pants are already designed on the right. I'm just copying them and putting it into this clearer version so it looks kind of better. I'm just coming back, you know, fixing certain things, adding little bits and pieces, and just making this character come together. Uh, so now you're gonna see, I create a one bullet and copy it. This way, it's a faster way of creating, let's say, bullet belts or, or just, you know, shells in general. Let's say you have a shotgun shell. And you want to create a belt out of it, right? You just make one shell and you copy it over and over and shade it in the end and they look good. So, you know, it's a little shortcut. Here I'm adding her uh, string, yeah, what is this called, thongs, I think. Um, I, did them, I did them really high and they didn't look good, so I changed them to a little bit lower, making her a uh, little, little bullet bracelet. As you can see, those bullets on the right look kind of like a stripe with, well, now you can't see them anymore, but kind of look like a stripe with lines. In thumbnail stage, it's all about you understanding what you wanted it to design, right? So you don't want to create really beautiful illustrations that, let's say, your friend would be like, oh, wow, it's so amazing, man. That's not what you're here to do, right? With those illustrations and, you know, illustrating being the tool that you use to communicate your designs in that stage, um, you want to, you know, shitty drawings are good, right? You want to do shitty drawings because that way you're not spending too much time in detailing things out in the thumbnail stage where you should be focusing on detail, um, not detail, design. Don't focus on detail in the thumbnail stage, focus on design. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of crappy, the drawing, but, you know, the point of it is the design, right? So, here I am uh, actually deleting out the bandana that she's wearing because I got this idea um, which will present itself later when I do the digital painting and see why I did this white, but I guess the very quick version would be that um, I decided that this will be kind of red color in the end. It'll be like that Scottish pattern, you know, like they have on those skirts, uh, and that's why I did it white. Um, you know, so I know what's going on. You saw me do some things on the on the left leg, and or should I say her right leg, because it is her right leg, but it didn't work out, so I went into doing these tattoos for her face. Uh, basically, that leg seemed very plain, you know, like nothing was on it, so I wanted to do something. Try different things, nothing worked out, and I said, why not do bullets? Because her name is Bullet, and let's add more bullets. This girl is literally just bullets. I bet she eats bullets for breakfast or something like that. Uh, I, I haven't thought about a story for her, so... Um, you can uh, come up with that, you can, you know, if you think that she eats bullets for breakfast, that's totally fine. Totally acceptable. Anyway, uh, I'm doing a lot of things now, and now, here comes the weapon designing. I said that I like to design weapons as well, right, in a previous video. And here I am now actually in front of you designing a weapon. So this is a giant machine gun, heavy machine gun. Uh, it's like a box weapon, because I thought a box it would look really cool. 
uh, making some air vents there, adding more bullets. Um, the reason why I'm spending, I spend quite a lot of time designing this, it's because it adds to the character, right? You want to, you know, if you have some sort of accessory, you want to make sure that accessory is very well thought out, so it doesn't look like an afterthought. Here I'm adding in my, um, I like to call it my signature move, um, or visual thing, it's those uh, warning stripes, I really like those. Um, here you can see me doing some uh, exhaustions. Uh, exhausts have to be there because this weapon overheats very easily considering how big it is and it just fires weapons really fast, right, at a rapid pace. Did I say pace? I meant phase. Rapid phase. Anyways, doing a uh, checkered pattern on her pants, I wanted to do this pattern in every character design, but I always forgot and here it is. Now finally I remembered and it looks really sexy. Here I'm doing the back view and it's gonna take me a little bit longer than the last time to do this one because she is in a po she's in a pose which has a lot of uh, foreshortering. foreshortering. I have a lot of trouble saying that word. You know, things like arms and her leg have perspective on them, you know, they are closer to the camera, therefore they appear bigger in the front and now that I'm looking from the back I need to change that, right? So it's not exactly the same as on the front. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, you know what I mean. And uh, here, it's very hard to explain with words. So you can see she has these um, kind of things that go on her back. These are these kind of she puts this weapon. Uh, it has little holes inside, and she straps it on, so she has it on her back, right? When she's not using the weapon. On the right, you can see a little hole and a little kind of thing there on the right on the weapon in the front. That's actually the trigger. She puts her entire arm in there and she just squeezes it together and that kind of fires the gun, right? Uh, just made her magazine and you're also gonna see me now create the magazine as a concept as well, you know, like I said, concept artists, we uh, don't illustrate, we concept things and here I wanna explain how the magazine looks like. Uh, let's say to the 3D character artist or to, or to whoever basically is gonna look at this. Uh, I just wanna design everything out. Uh, what you're gonna see me doing next is trying to place things, right? Present things in a beautiful manner. So you have a, a you know, a giant gun, you have a character, and now you want to present this. Oh, and you can also see magazines, right? So you want to present this. Um, the thing is, the guns are so big that I can hardly put them anywhere. Now you would think, why not put them in the middle, you know, in between the characters? Um, well, that is a good idea. And I did do that. The guns are actually so big that they distance the character and then they don't look like they belong together, right? So the front and the back view are too far apart. So what I do is put everything on the front. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I put everything on the side. Why did I say on the front? Um, and before I explain anything further, look at her. She's got a crazy amount of bullets on her. I told you that she's gonna have a lot of bullets on her. But anyways, I'm here. Here I am presenting. Obviously, now you can see this, and as as you can see, it's gonna be the character is gonna be way too far. Uh, I'm just designing here. Don't mind uh, me talking. I'm just designing this uh, gun in the front view. I don't even know what view this is. This is the view that you would have when, I guess, she could look at. I don't know. But anyways, um, here I'm trying to present, and as you can see, I put it all on one side, and I'm going to throw in some um, presentations on the front view. She's got about 9 times 9 that's 81 holes to shoot out of. This is a really, really powerful machine gun and very fast. So the upper one is the front view, the lower one is the back view. Uh, the back view has a, uh, the back of the gun has a vent for the steam to go out of because this weapon does overheat and it needs a lot of cooling. So here I am presenting everything nicely. I'm also gonna throw in the gray background, which I am gonna skip here uh, in this video, so you don't have to watch me doing it, see that? Very fast transition. And here I'm using my um, graphic design skills that I supposedly acquired at school. And by the way, I did not acquire that at school because they didn't teach me jack in school. But anyway, uh, to make her logo for her name. Her name is Bullet, so I kinda thought this looked nice. Um, I, you know, and just threw it there on the, on the left. And I'm also gonna assign it now. I guess just adding my name and the year it was created uh, in the background and we're done. 
this is the character it's done uh, you can download this character on you know I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can uh, I like to use the word dissect because it's on school uh, you can dissect it and you know uh, do whatever you want with it you know study it and whatnot uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun making it and I guess I'll see you in the next one Color. It's very complicated to say that, believe me, too many bees. Um, 